Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 21 franchise mode here in New York, New Jersey. It is time to defend our Stanley Cup in a 2026 Stanley Cup Finals rematch against Quinn Hughes and the Vancouver Canucks. It's all it's an all Hughes Finals, ladies and gents. But let's let's go ahead, chill out here for two seconds, take a step back, and talk about the last couple of rounds. Round number one and two. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Seriously, Carolina put up a big fight. Yes, it did go six games, which is, you know, a pretty damn long series, considering we won a President's Trophy, and Carolina and Washington were nowhere near compared as talented as we are. Nowhere near as talented. Washington got an early lead on us. We won two straight games, two shutouts in a row. Actually, you know what? I lied. <laughs> That's the first game against Washington. They tied up. We win two straight shutouts. It went to six, but we won. The Toronto Maple Leafs gave us a run for our money. And it all really came down to yet another game six. A 5-4 OT win. Reese McArdle blew a tire in the third period and almost cost us a chance at a Stanley Cup. It has been a wacky playoff run all, all postseason long. But let's go ahead and talk about the playoff tree. Vancouver is back in the Cup Finals yet again. In 2026, they beat us. In, I want to say, six or seven games, Jesper Wallstead, our former, former goaltender, blew it, and we lost. And Quinn Hughes is a Stanley Cup champion. They beat the Winnipeg Jets, a phenomenal Western Conference team. They beat the LA Kings. They beat Minnesota, a perennial second, third round team. And we got an all-Hughes finale. Now, what is Vancouver? It has been a while, but they are still dominating that Western Conference. 46, 31, and 5. 7, 3, and 0 in their last 10. Not the best regular season, but they are a team built for the postseason anyways. So let's go ahead and check out the Vancouver Canucks in year number what? Is this nine? I'm bad at math. I want to say this is year nine. Is it not? Something like that, yeah. Uh, you might even be year 10. I can't count. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. So, we have a problem here. Elias Pettersson is a veteran now. 99 offensive awareness, 99 passing, dude is a machine. How many career points is he at currently? He is one point shy of a thousand. That is crazy. That's crazy how his first point next season will be his 1,000th career point. That's kind of, I've never seen that before. And he's got Brennan Othman and Brock Besser. Those are two guys that are obviously going to help him out. Sniper. And a sniper in Brock Besser. Yeah, how many points does Pedersen... Oh my god, he is going off. Their top line's getting it done. No doubt about it, you got Elias Lindholm, who's a center right wing. Not a bad second line player. You got Nils Hoglander. You got Vatili Abramov. Third line, Christian Dvorak. Oh my god, you're really going to try to make... Oh my god, okay, let me... Let me... Baumik. Baumik? Baumik. Emilio Baumick, maybe. And then Samuel Poulin, fourth line. Nothing crazy. Alexander Kerfoot, Bulldog, and Harose. That's a great top nine. Fourth line, not the best. Hopefully our fourth line can take advantage of that. Defensively, the one, the only, the Quinn Hughes. Is he the most talented Quinn Hughes? He might be. Back in my Minnesota Wild franchise mode, he was, he was the guy... He was scoring 100 points every season or something crazy like that. I think Jack, I think uh, Jake Umberger is a better defenseman all around. But then you got Eric Brandstrom, a guy that I haven't seen too much of in franchise mode. It's been a very long time since I've used a player like him, but I know he's talented and he can definitely do some damage. Those two guys together 
are a threat. You got Sami Niku, uh, Yoki Harju, uh, Merkley, I don't know why I struggle there, and Vakaninen. That's a pretty solid defensive core. I've seen worse. I've seen slightly better all around, but they got their top two guys. They can, they can, they can win here. Goaltending wise, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, Alexei Kabanov. Oh no. Oh, no. Former New Jersey Devil. It's been a while. He is... He's officially played more time with the Vancouver Canucks than he has with the New Jersey Devils. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Scratch players. Timu Meyer. Adding Timu Meyer to that lineup would be insane. And then you got Michael Langweeder. Wow. Okay, so this is a threatening team. And we are only going to win via sheer offensive power. I'm looking at two guys that I have threatened in the last little bit. Jack Hughes and Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield has scored seven goals. You might be like, okay, that's not too bad. He has, he has 14 points in 18 games. That's not bad. That's not bad. Six of those goals came in round two. The other two rounds, he scored a total of one. It's not good enough. These two players define this franchise. They have been the cornerstones of this team for a very long time. We knew when we named Nico Hiche captain that a guy like Jack Hughes and Cole Caulfield would lead this team into the future even when they were in their mid-20s. We need them now more than ever. This is the time to show up. Everybody else... You gotta play your hearts out. We just gotta play good. And Reese McArdle, dude, you almost blew that last series for us. Somehow we won in overtime. Charlie Cavanaugh with the goal. What an overtime it was. Reese, dude, you gotta get it done for us. You had an abysmal regular season. You've been crappy for the last calendar year. But we gotta like I've got a guy like Cohen Carlos here just in case we need something like that. Cause I'll pull the plug quickly. But, we have to win with this team. We can win two Stanley Cups in a row for the first time as general manager of this team. And the first time in NHL 21. I'm ready. I am completely ready against the Vancouver Canucks. Our best players have to be the best. Game... Number one, Vancouver can do some damage. Will history repeat itself here? Game number one, home ice advantage. Who will open the scoring here in the cup finals? A rematch. Old Hughes final. Oh my, I am tense. I am tense and all I want is a championship. To fall flat like this, it would suck. It would suck. 0-0 zero, zero after 20 minutes. Great start from the goalies. It's Luke Hughes getting the first goal for the New, Jer New Jersey Devils. Power play again. Come on, make it 2 nothing. Come on, it's Vladimir Nikolashin. Great stuff from the kid halfway through the game. Doubling them up in shots. My God, going ham here, New Jersey. Can, can we get it 3 or 4 nothing? That'd be great. At the end of 40... New Jersey holds a 2-0 lead. I am very tense. I gotta take this slow. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Here we go. Third period, two-goal lead. We've seen it blown before from Reese McArdle. Luke Hughes' second of the evening. Great stuff from our second best defenseman. Our best goal-scoring defenseman gets it done here. Jack Hughes, welcome to the Cup Finals. That is what I'm talking about. Brock Besser breaks the shutout, but a great performance from our starting goaltender in game number one. If you can give us that amount of time to score some goals, New Jersey can win. We can win. And we take game number one. The Hughes brothers were great. Jack Hughes with four whole points. He might even be leading the team now. He might, he, he's up there now. That's 
what I love to see game number two. I'm stressing out here. I, I just want to win. I just want to win this Stanley Cup. Two in a row, yes. We're officially one of the greatest teams of all time, I think. The first team to win back-to-back -back since the Pittsburgh Penguins in 2016-2017, I want to say. Let's go. Let's go, boys. First period, game number two. Power play early. It's Jacob squared. I love to see it. Power play marker. Almost at double-digit shots here early. My God, good stuff from New Jersey and Abramov. We'll score, but it's one of the Hughes. Getting it done, making it 2-1, getting back our one-goal lead. I love to see it. Our offense is good. I know it can be good. I know we're a good play. Ah, yes, it's Cola. No! Why is Pers Hogan in our... What the... F what are you... Oh, my God! Why is he in the net, EA? Why is he in net? Why is he in net? Why is he in net, EA? This game is broken. It is broken. Second period. I'm so done with this game. I'm so incredibly done. Jake Umberger, thank you. Power play marker for New Jersey. I'm so incredibly done. That's insane, EA. I touch nothing and you put Pers Hogan in there. Three straight goals for New Jersey. That's what I love to see. I'm just mad. I'm just mad. We might win this game, yeah, but that could have that could have killed us. It's only a two goal lead. It's a three goal lead. What a second period. My god, Pers Hogan. Absolute Why is he net? The only excuse is that Reese McArdle is injured. But I know he's not. And EA's just being stupid. In what world would the programming allow that? Javon Betts, eight goals on the evening for New Jersey. That should be good enough for a win. Power play late for Vancouver. Now we know not to trust our backup goalie. Good stuff. Good stuff, New Jersey. Our goal scoring was there. We could have easily lost that one, though, if we went cold. Could have easily have lost that. Easily. Jacob Jacobs is now leading this team in points. I don't understand. Why was he in net? Why was he in net EA? Why? Reese McArdle played pretty damn good in game one. Really damn good. Why? Why would it go Pers Hogan? I hate this game. Oh my god. That could have screwed us out of game two. But we won. Goal scoring was there and that's what we bailed our, we bailed our goalie out. Game three, Rogers Arena here in the great province of British Columbia. Let's go. First period. Now I'm upset. Now I'm mad. If we had lost that game, I would have, yep, I would have, I would have, I would have, <laughs> I would have spiraled. Uh, come on, Vakanine and their depth defenseman scores the first goal of the game. That is, I believe, their first lead. <sighs> okay, yep, good job. Goalies are now crap in the bed. Love to see it. <sighs> come on, New Jersey. If we can get one back here quickly, we can still get back into this one. 2 nothing against Vancouver. That's nothing. Don't tell me their goaltenders turn into an absolute god. Don't tell me that. Are you serious? What? What are... Come on, New Jersey. Jake Umberger. There we go. Don't tell me Kabanov is the main man here. And they score a shorty. Oh my god. Oh my god. New God damn it, Reese. God, I can't trust any goalies. I can't trust them. They're doing it again. Every time we get to the cup finals, they find a way to lose. Offense wasn't there for them, though. I can't be too mad. I can't. I just can't. I gotta chill out. I gotta chill out. I gotta chill the hell out. Game four. Chance to take a 3-1 lead for the fourth series in a row. Come on, New Jersey. Come on, boys. There we go. First period goal. Cole Caulfield. Good stuff. Power play again. Come on. Come on. We need a quick lead. We need a quick three-goal lead, and then maybe I can trust. But my God. McArdle does everything in his power to blow it. Jacob squared. Love to see it. Okay. 2-0 after 20. Yes. Power play late. Okay. 
cool, cool, cool. I gotta chill out. I gotta chill out. I gotta, I gotta trust this team. I gotta put faith in this team not to kill my dreams. Okay? I have to trust this team. I just do. Let's go. Second period. 16 shots on the evening. They're gonna get one back easily. Power play New Jersey. That's what I'm talking about, Eric Gomez. Long time, devil. One of the longest tenured currently. Uh, crazy to think, right? That's what I'm talking about, Russ. You've had a great series so far. Yes. Yes, boys. 4-1. Heading into the third. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I'm not going to be chill until I see the final seconds of a Stanley Cup winning game. I will not be chill. I will not. Two goal lead, half the period remaining. Please, for the love of God, New Jersey. Reese. Goddamn McArdle. Reese. Please. There we go, Cole, getting a late goal. That's what I'm talking about. Two goals there to find. Oh, to finish the game. Oh, Reese. Oh, Reese McArdle tried to do it again. So you see that, right? You see that stuff, right? He finds a way to blow it. This goddamn close. <sighs> New Jersey, yet again, we are one win away, heading into game number five, a Stanley Cup on the line. We, we have been lucky the last couple of series. Yes, we blow game five abysmally. Abysmally? That doesn't sound right. One of these days, we're going to blow in game six. We can't keep affording to do that. Leaving it to the very last moment. Game five. Home ice. Do it in front of your fans. Get it done, boys. I don't care who the Conn Smythe winner is at this point. I don't care. I don't care. I want to win. It's Jacob Squared been a machine. Been a machine. A point per game power forward who we stole from Chicago. Lindholm's going to tie it, though. <sighs> come on, boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Power play. No. 20 minutes out of the way. They caught up in shots, though. It's a 1-1 game. Goaltenders with a good first period. Okay. I want this Stanley Cup. I want two in a row. I want four in a row. But two in a row makes us a great team. Makes us a great team. Let's do it, New Jersey. Let's freaking go. Second period, 1-1. One, one. Come on, boys. You have a chance. A lot of these players have never won a Stanley Cup before. The entire fourth line. Think about it. The guy that we just drafted. Barkowski and Nickel. Our defensive core. Third period. <sighs> Shots are dead even. Goaltenders. It's going to come down to the goalies, isn't it? Uh, it's always the goalies. It's always the goalies. We can't just have an easy win, can we? Let's go. Third period underway. Come on. Come on. Come on, New Jersey. Power play. Come on. <gasps> it's the captain. The captain, Jacob. Oh, power play win at Vancouver. I don't even know. Come on. Come on. Six minutes. Five minutes. Four minutes. Three minutes. Come on. Come on. I gotta, I gotta slow down the time here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I gotta slow it down. Oh, no. Come on. Sixty-two seconds between us and our second straight Stanley Cup. I don't want, I don't want, oh no, Kerfoot! Oh yes, come on, Jacob! Over to, come on! Have they pulled their goalie yet? Oh no. Huge hit, oh my God! What a hit! Come on! Shot on Nick Kavanov. He's gonna send it out, okay, they really wanna go here. They don't wanna stop here. They're pulling their goalie, Kerfoot. Oh, Nickel, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Come on, boys. No. Hi. What a... Whoa, my God. What a chance for Vancouver there. Just send it out. Just send it out, Jacobs. Just freaking send it out. I don't care. At this point, just get it out. Waste time. Sammy Niku, their final chance of game number five. Huge hit from Nickel. He gets it done, and that should clinch it. The Vancouver Canucks will be defeated by your reigning Stanley Cup champions. The New Jersey Devils have done it. They have joined Elite Company back to back Stanley Cup champions. Legendary. Oh, yes. No need to go to a game six. No need for a game seven. The New Jersey Devils have realized a dream. So many players on this squad deserve this. Every player on this team deserves it. It was a weird regular season. Yeah, that's true. It was such a weird regular season. There's no doubt about that. But we put everything on the line. That was the fourth series in a row we took a 3-1 series lead. Yes. Hi. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta celebrate. I'm cheering. I'm just quiet. Because I didn't expect us to win two in a row. It has been a weird run with New Jersey. It has. And you know, the series is coming to an end eventually. A lot of these guys are getting older. It is going to be a long off season. Jacob Jacobs wins the con Smythe in only his second year as a New Jersey Devil. Welcome to Elite Company, boys. Wow. What a run by him. I, I There's a lot of guys I could have chosen, but he was so impressive. And four. Oh, this feels good. Oh, yes. Get ready. Captain Jake Umberger. A third period goal from the captain. He might be the best player in hockey today. Number 89. Jake Umberger, captain of the two-time Stanley Cup champions. This feels good. This feels incredible. To win like this. Yes. I don't even know what championship this is in our organization. Is this our third time as general manager or fourth? I, I can't actually recall at this point. I don't actually remember, but I know two times in a row. And, you know, this team might change in the offseason. It, it, it is bound to with Cole Caulfield and Jack Hughes contracts coming to an end when we sign them at the very beginning of this franchise mode. Yeah, they're coming to an end. But the plan is to get them back. But things are changing. This team is going to change. This franchise changes the moment this Stanley Cup celebration is over. Reese McArdle, dude, you had a phenomenal performance last year in the Cup playoffs. This year you were shaky through and through. But man, oh man, two Stanley Cups as our starting goaltender. Let's enjoy this. I don't know the next time we'll get a chance to do this. But for right now... We're your Stanley Cup champions in 2030. Enjoy it here, boys.